All right, last public meeting of the year. Good times. We will wait a few more minutes for folks to come on in. Greetings. Alex, you're going to be up first. <laughs> That's okay. It, it's good times. Um, I don't believe all of our groups are going to be presenting today, um, but we'll, we'll see. So. Yeah, I'll give it a few more minutes or so. Um, Dim's let me know that he's not attending today. Uh, I know uh, Richard Hartman. We've got some of the folks at uh, Cute Day in Japan, and that's one in the morning for them, so they're not going to be here. Yeah, good fun. That's, that's probably fair enough. You know, uh, the time zones, they work, like, you know, in all sorts of different ways. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. It's fine. Yeah, I'll give it another minute and then we'll get started. So. All right. I think I'm going to declare this is like the we're going to get we've got who we're going to get. So we'll we'll go ahead and kick us off. So welcome. You have made it. Normal antitrust applies here. You have made it to the meeting or you've made it to the recording. One of the two. TUC members are here. And here's our updates. Um, we are doing tag updates today, tag storage, tag security, runtime observability, uh, network environmental sustainability, and contributor strategy. Um, so we are going to kick us off with storage. Alex, passing to you. Thank you. Hello. Hey, good mic check. So, Come on. <laughs> okay. So um, from a project's point of view, we, we've shelved some of the previous updates. So things like open EBS, we've just taken them off the slide for now until they come back with, with an update on their side. Um, but uh, one thing is, um, I know the Cloud Native um, PG group um, have reached out and said that they would like to um, represent and reapply for Sandbox following the feedback from the TOC. Um, so we'll, we'll try and get that sorted out. Um, and then we had um, uh, Xing uh, from from our tag and Melissa from oh that's a typo Melissa from the T DOK um, which is the data and Kubernetes uh, community um, have proposed that we that we um, work on a collaboration and we we had a discussion in in our last call and one of the things that came out was that we we could um, there's been a lot of questions uh, and a lot of um, uh, a lot of opportunity to work on um, 
perhaps a white paper that would cover database patterns in in Kubernetes. So things like the the different operators that are available and, and different ways of of um, of implementing this, and it kind of ties ties in with the performance and disaster recovery work that that we've done previously as well. Um, and so what we're going to do is we, we we agreed that we're we're going to try and structure this similarly to some of our other white papers where we put a bit of a um, a framework together to to um, to sort of like to to kind of create a skeleton document and then um, crowdsource um, from different community members the, the for the different chapters and different areas in there. Um, so I'm going to try and set that up with um, Derek um, from the Previga team and Leonardo from the Cloud Native PG team um, who have volunteered to help set this up and, and, and start up the document and then we'll and then we'll populate that as we go along. Um, so that could be quite exciting for us. Um, and uh, we're also working on um, this use case template, which is which is basically a, um, a template that we're trying to set up to cover off um, the attributes from the storage white paper and the disaster uh, recovery attributes from the disaster recovery white paper, um, and using that as a as a template for uh, different use cases for stateful workloads in in Kubernetes. And the and the idea would be that um, we could potentially seed um, seed those the first few templates from uh, and use cases from some of the work that we're doing with the database. Um, with the database work and the database patterns. So that could be a starting point. Um, the Cloud Native Disaster Recovery, we published that in, in the tag repo, um, and we talked about it in, in our last um, uh, KubeCon presentation as well. The Performance and Benchmarking White Paper, we probably need to get together again and just finalize it off. Um, and we have uh, additional um, we've we've had a number of um, tag meetings over the last um, few months with um, with project updates, and we're going to be um, reaching out to some additional projects as well to um, to get some more updates uh, as we go along, uh, especially with uh, in collaboration with the with the DOK group too. And that's that's us. Excellent. Any questions from the group? All right, nothing in chat. Cool. Thank you much. Thank you. Um, and given as we have uh, the the next meeting is basically coming directly after the holidays, um, I think you've got until February to be able to give your next update. So you got time. Sounds good. Cool. Um, I do not see any security folks in the call. I'm going to drop to runtime. Which is Ricardo? Come on in. All right. Yeah. Hello. Hi. All right. Some some updates from Tag Runtime uh, in terms of projects and presentations and involvement with the community. Uh, in the containers and runtime space, we had uh, a project called Lima present. Um, it's basically Linux virtual machines uh, uh, allows you to run Container D on top of uh, different types of uh, architectures, but mostly for Mac. So that's done. This is a sandbox uh, project in the CNCF already. We also had the Container D project come in and present. Uh, so they provided an update of the roadmap, uh, showed us uh, what's coming in versions 1.7 and beyond. So very Excited to see that from the Container D project. It's already a graduated project and being used uh, around the world in many, many areas, many services. You also used by Kubernetes. In terms of uh, workloads, uh, we have a project called KServe uh, that is presented in our next meeting. And this project basically allows you to serve machine learning models using Kubernetes custom resource definitions, CRDs. So we'll see that next. We also had another project called CBL Mariner. Uh, it's basically um, Linux uh, distribution for the edge uh, from the folks at Microsoft that's uh, already done. They, they presented in, the I think, last month. 
I think Amy is familiar with that. <laughs> uh, and another project called in NARCS. And it's a different take on confidential computing, but using WebAssembly, we reached out to them. They've already replied. So there's interest in presenting. So hopefully we'll see that present in, in the next uh, few meetings. And WASMI is another project that we also reached out. Uh, this is a WebAssembly interpreter and they've also replied. So we expect them to present soon. Also the open source or open policy registry uh, presented uh, last month. And this is basically uh, OPA policies using the OCI spec. Uh, so the relationship there with runtime is that they're using the OCI spec. This is more closely related to runtime in, in that area, but you know it also overlaps with security. In, in terms of activities with the TAC, uh, we, one of the things going on with our IoT working, IoT Edge working group. Uh, we published uh, the first draft of our net Edge native principles white paper. It's in the GitHub repo. Uh, and we expect to work, or, or they expect to work with the, the CNCF and also with the TAG to uh, create a Edge native landscape. So we'll be reaching out uh, later and to, to make that happen. So Either they want to create a, their own land, landscape, or maybe they'll want to add it to the CNCF landscape. And the batch system initiative uh, working group also continues to make progress on different things. Uh, one of them is, for, for example, interactive jobs. So they're working with the Kubernetes community to make that happen. In KubeCon North America, we also had an in-person session with um, the Unicraft team and they talked about unikernels. So we got some engagement with, with that project specifically. And we're also planning a, a in-person session for KubeCon EU. I think that's all for the updates for TAC runtime for now. And I think I see a question, what did you learn from the workload uh, presentations uh, from Josh? Uh, uh, not really sure what the question means. It's like a, it's it's a general presentation from from the from the community. Well, or mm -hmm. you had all these presentations of different workloads. Um, uh, obviously, you were trying to learn something from them. So, what did you learn? Yeah, I mean it's multiple things. I mean they 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 the, the projects. Some of them are maturing. For example, like CBL CBL Mariner is uh is being created by Microsoft, and they uh they plan to continue to to get more contributions. But internally, they're they're being used. But uh, uh internally at, at Microsoft, and there's there's n no no direct okay, plan maybe I'm, donated I'm, to the cncf right so that's one that's one example right so but I don't, I'm, I'm, so there's i mean many things that you you get to learn right so okay well i wasn't i wasn't able to attend the um uh, the roundup meeting last month um so maybe you can give me some context on on these workload interviews sorry I, i'm just <laughs> where, where i'm confused is, the question CBL Mariner is not going to become a CNCF project. Right. So right. so my question is, why were you interviewing them? What what were you getting out of it? I think I can spit, like help like frame some yeah. of this. Like Ricardo, yeah. like uh the tag runtime tends to be able to go reach out towards like wide varieties of different places that are working in cloud native, even if they're not going to come and touch like CNCF directly. Um Ricardo, go, like, please help me if I'm mischaracterizing any of that. That's that. That's correct, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't mean that they're going to be part of the CNCF. That the idea is to engage different projects so that they actually come in and and uh, present and and provide their yeah you know, their input and 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 actually people attend the meeting and and engage the community so they get they get more interested in in, in open source in general, right? So in 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 this area, right? In tag runtime, right? But, I mean, every tag has a different scope, right? So does that make sense? 
Okay. Okay. Thanks. Kathy. Yeah, I have came in. Sure. Uh, come on in. For the workloads, right? You have different types of workloads here. Is there any integration work um, you are planning to integrate, uh, for example, with a web assembly integrator? Any thought or any planning to integrate with that workload? Integrate the runtime like Container D or? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, uh -huh. for example, Container D has a, has a, like, a, they provide it in the roadmap and actually they actually they they have an integration with WebAssembly, for example right so uh so I, and i think i've seen a, a number of these projects like docker also trying to add like WebAssembly. so so yeah so it's an, an up and coming area right i mean it's not fully used in production environments in a lot of places but uh but but maybe we'll see it in the future okay thanks All right, looking around for anybody else. Any other questions? Thank you, Tag Runtime. We'll see you in February. Thank you. Yay. All right, moving on. Observability. I am not sure if I've got anybody from Observability on the line. Going once, going twice. All right, they're doing things. Observe, they're doing a lot of things. If, they, if anybody comes on in and wants to be able to give voice to this one, happy to move back. And we'll move on to network. <clears throat> nice, very good. Shh. Hello. Uh -huh. All right, hey, shh. Um, the other tag is observing at the moment. So everyone be quiet, please. Uh, uh, it, how, how many points am I gonna lose if I ask you to refresh? The slide. Not a ton, not a ton. You get one, one, one free share, like, you know. Okay. Like once a year, you get that. We've, we've got space today, like it's fine. I'm not worried. Oh. All right. Hello. No, all good, all good. Give me um, a second, we'll come on back in. So, hey, you get a second to be able to like, you know. Oh yeah, to crack Think about what hard. you've done there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Make even all worse right. jokes than I already did. That would be perfect. Oh, all That's good. Perfect. Um, so the, the tag hasn't, um, it, it missed a couple of meetings for a bunch of different reasons, but the upcoming agenda, um, as we have it for this Thursday, um, really has two things. It's, uh, an update on network service mesh and, um, it's just a, a project update. It's been a little over a year since we'd heard from, um, that, that project, that one's within the, uh, within the tag today. Uh, and so Mr. Ed Warnicke should be presenting that, that would be good. Um, the other agenda item is well, this um, a, an upcoming cloud native playground from the Meshery project. Um, I think many of you, for the context here is probably many of you are familiar with Meshery as a service mesh manager and it's um, expanded its scope to include um, cloud native management in general, or it kind of be a, a uh, multi-cluster Kubernetes manager. And as such, it, it's uh, that the working group here has been um, helping uh, prepare a playground to come and explore um, a broad variety of the CNCF projects specifically so that people can um, visually design and configure those uh, CNCF projects. So anyway, the, the playground is an up and coming announcement from um, the Meshery project, and that'll be hopefully presented on Thursday. There's an upcoming presentation from Slime, um, a project that is, I think, currently proposed for Sandbox. Um, and so we need to get them slotted. That is a, a service mesh manager, um, bringing additional intelligence on top of um, Istio specifically, um, is what Slime is. And so, yeah, that's that's about what the group has. And bad jokes, too. All good. Any questions from the group? All right. Thank you very much, Tag Network. We will see you over in February. Thank you. Yay. Perfect. <laughs>
Oh, welcome in. Welcome in new tag, environmental sustainability. Uh, which one of the chairs wants to be able to take it? That will be me. Hey, everyone. Max, come on in. How are you doing? Um, so I hope next time when we meet in February, we will also come up with some uh, nice logo. It's currently in Nepal. So hopefully soon we have also some nice animal to, to show you and display and recognize us. Um, so far, maybe the, the minor milestones, we have set up all the governance structure. So we are open for presentation. Um, we have their uh, the process or the standard process, how to bring presentations to us. And now we're open and looking forward to get some very interesting um, tools to see. Um, from the community perspective, uh, we voted Cara Dahlia um, as a tech lead and she got nominated or other way around, she got nominated and she got voted um, to take over the role as one of our tech leads, uh, which is very great because she has a long track uh, environmental sustainability and in community work and um, is a great, great fit for that role. Um, also, until now, we have a environmental sustainability survey um, running, which was closed last week. And we have more or less around 50 participants so far. It was distributed through the KC in uh, to the KubeCon in North America and the KCDs and social media. And the purpose of this survey is to understand from the cloud native perspective of um, what are the current interesting parts for the community and the end user towards environmental sustainability, what are the challenges, what they're working on and what they want to do next. Um, we know and we are aware of that there are also other surveys around, like from the Green Software Foundation, but as the name also spells, they have a very deep software focus. They touch some cloud topics and we are here in a close uh, communication um, with the managing directors of the GSF um, to ensure that we um, in future maybe keep this question a little bit more in sync and that they are more like adding to each other value rather than to be um, like a competitor. Next steps for that, uh, waiting for getting the feedback on or getting the answers to analyze them um, and then create a report for the first insights. Um, and yeah, then we are actually looking to the direction of KubeCon, KubeCon Cloud Native Com Europe. Um, it's, I guess, very soon after Christmas, it feels like just a few weeks more and then we are there. So um, we are currently proposing or working on the proposal for a tech talk and also playing a project meeting. Um, in the last KubeCons, we did this more like uh, ad hoc and in between the chairs. Um, now we're happy to set up a, a real live meeting with all the community here in Europe and everyone who comes over. And um, as an additional target for the KubeCon, we have two major topics we are working on, which is a landscape document, giving an overview of what is currently available, what you can do um, within the cloud native um, landscape uh, to ensure environmental sustainability. And in addition to work on um, a cloud native environmental uh, sustainability majority model, um, which is oriented or should be oriented on the cartographers um, working group and either should be like an add on, but we have to talk with the people um, or as a standalone version of it with a clear focus environmental sustainability. And that's it. No, yeah, that's super. Thank you. All right, questions for actually, what are you all calling yourselves now? Are you tag inv? Um, the vote falls for tag inv. Okay, tag inv. Okay, awesome. Lovely. All right, Kathy, it's a question for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, th um, I think this, you know, survey report is very good. Uh, so where are you going to publish that? The the report. Mm -hmm. Um. I think that's not yet clarified, uh, most likely at, at latest point, or at least it will be in our GitHub repository, but we will also ensure that we will communicate it, hopefully in through the uh, CNCF channels and uh, yeah, publish it through all the ways which we can reach out to. Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, basically welcome. watch the space for more. Yeah, there's gonna be more. All right, moving right along. Thank you, Max. Thank Contributor you. strategy. We've got a lot of folks on the line. Who wants to take it? Dawn, come on in. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, yeah, so we we had, I guess, a lot of stuff going on um, since the last update. Uh, there was KubeCon, of course. So we had quite a bit of um, presence there. So we had a 
project pavilion kiosk and a maintainer session. And also lots of ad hoc discussions with CNCF projects. So both the maintainer session, the kiosk, and just having us there generated lots of conversations. And so lots of projects sort of stopped by to get advice. So that was that was really, really nice. Uh, we just finished the contributor survey, so it was just closed. We're still in the process of analyzing the results. Um, but they are working on a blog post uh, for um, a little, just a little bit of data about the survey that the CNCF is um, helping us drive that blog post. So that should be coming shortly. I think we're editing it right now. And then we're also talking a lot about next steps for just the tag awareness campaign that we've been um, pushing for a while. So with the uh, decline of Twitter. Uh, we're having conversations around uh, Mastodon, around LinkedIn, other places where we can promote some of the tags efforts and get the word out about the resources that we have. So the, those discussions are are ongoing. If you have any opinions, uh, let us know in, in Slack. That would be that'd be great. And then you know we did some of this at KubeCon, but it also happens um, quite a bit in other forums. But we do give advice and have lots of discussions that help various CNCF projects with um, you know, contributor growth and governance. So we've we've talked to Captain for Contributor Ladder. We've talked to a few projects around governance, so Backstage, Operator Framework, and CRIO, um, as well as some you know, potential new CNCF projects for review. So this is something that happens in various channels, like in people ping us on Slack, people drop into our meetings, and this is this is what we're here for, right? This is a core part of what tag contributor strategy is designed to do is provide advice for projects. Uh, the mentoring working group has just been on a tear. We've, uh, I say we've, uh, the, the group that works on mentoring has done a ton of stuff recently. So, you know, Google seasons of season of docs, we've had three mentorships, 16 for Google summer of code. Uh, there's been a bunch of activity around the LFX mentorships with um, you know, 24 projects in the most recent uh, term, which was uh, September through November, which is fantastic. And all of this added up is 106 mentorship projects this year, which is fabulous, and 95 mentors across those projects. So, so kudos to Nate and Jay and the rest of the, the mentorship team for that. Um, the other thing we have is a proposal to add governance review as a requirement for graduation. So we do this informally for lots of projects as they're talking about the move from incubation to governance. But one of the, the key elements of um, graduation is that it be, you know, company neutral and that they're, um, that the governance has moved beyond that dominance by a single company. So one of the things that we think we should do is have that be a requirement, the same way that the uh, tag security review is a requirement for projects moving to graduation. So uh, I think Josh created this issue uh, yesterday or the day before, the last couple of days. So it's linked here. And so I would encourage all of the, um, in particular, the TOC members, but also the rest of the group from the various tags to have a look at that issue and um, you know, thumbs up, write some comments, give us some feedback, uh, because that is something that we want to bring into the, the TOC for, for a vote shortly. And then our regularly scheduled reminder that we are here to help projects. So if you see projects struggling with governance, contributor growth, um, any of the topics covered by the tag, uh, send us, you know, send them our way. We're happy to help. Any questions about any of that? Seeing nothing but lots of good work going on in here. And yeah, definitely kudos on like the how many mentorships you've got. Yeah, sure. Got to come on in. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say, yeah, it's a lot of you know good work going here. I think, yeah, it's very good work. All right, we can move along. This is our last piece in here. So like we're we're gonna wrap up early today, I'm pretty sure. Um any updates on projects moving around from the folks on the call? I know that I've got uh, Dave on the call and uh, Harry's with us as well. I mean, I can always call in Justin Cormack too. Right, so- Harry, yeah, I come on in. Yeah, yeah, I could give some update around um, um, 
open cruise and Cuba Vela. So both of them have submitted the um, due diligence documentation for review and actually the first round of review have been done and we give certain feedbacks and comments, but overall it's in good shape. And they also actively scheduled the end user interviews for both. And we have almost done more than half of the end user interviews. So I will say the progress is pretty fast. So hopefully at least one of them can move to public comment uh, before the holiday. So okay. we're in good shape. Falco, right. we Falco, we just got the doc um, and we've got some people to entry, but um, so we just got that today. So we're making progress there as well. Oh, excellent. Okay, that is good news. All right, any other projects I want to be able to like, I, I, we don't have everybody here, so I'm not going to like run through the whole list. And so uh, some update on the um, CRIO, the CRIO project. Uh, yeah, we have started the kickoff meeting with uh, maintainers and have identified some um, new um, adopters or users uh, for the interview. So interview session is being set up. Yeah. It's moving forward well. That's super, excellent. All right, hearing hearing nothing further from the group. Um, we'll move on to like last questions in here. Alex, come on in. Oh no, no, no. I didn't okay. have any questions. Right. Sorry, but it's when we when people unmute, I, I assume that means that, like that my hand is up except my hand is not up. Um <laughs> <laughs> All right, going once. I will send everybody back into their day. It's good to see all of you. Thank you so much for dropping in today. That's all. Thanks for the updates from Tags. Yeah. We'll see you Thank in February. You. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone.